what's up guys learning with rich here in this video so we are going to talk about scheduling so we will be doing some series of videos regarding the topic scheduling so for the first video so we are going to start creating our framing schedule okay so let's do this so you can go to the view tab and then you can find there your schedules so just click uh, schedule quantities or another way of using this tool is by going to the project browser uh, schedule quantities right click that and then just select new schedule quantities okay and then from the new schedule dialog box so we need to select now what type of category that we will be using for our schedule so i'm gonna use here structural or i'm gonna select structural framing and then you can specify here the name of your schedule schedule building components and new construction pace so i'm going to select ok right now here on the schedule properties so we need to specify what are the fields that we would like to be appearing on our schedule okay so for this one i'm going to want the mark to appear on my schedule and also comments double click that and what else uh, reference level double click and family and type there you go and then after that let us add another parameter but this time let us create it by adding a new parameter here so click this icon to create a new parameter so project parameter for this one and then for the name i'm just gonna type here rebar so it will gonna be on the instance properties and then uh, for the discipline commons a type of parameter i just want to put a text on this parameter so that's why i just select your text and then i want that to be grouped under the other category okay so group under the other parameter okay instance parameter just select okay and there you go so that's how you add a new parameter just in case it's not here by default on our available fields so you can customize your parameter by clicking new parameter icon now i'm going to rearrange my schedule here so i select uh, rebar so you can move it up and down if you want so let's say uh, second uh, second column and then after that just select finish or okay for us to be able to see what our schedule looks like and there you have it okay so that's now our schedule now for our next video i'm gonna show you how to use the shared parameters in our scheduling okay so let's do this so see you on my next video for the shared parameters so thank you for watching guys have a nice day